Greetings from Cusco, Peru. This is my latest quadcopter called Wiracocha, and he is filming, for your education and entertainment, a site that you likely have never heard of in between the city of Cusco, Peru, and the very famous site called Sacsayhuaman, which is above Cusco. There are many different cut and shaped surfaces in this local bedrock, which is likely andesite, a very hard stone, and archaeologists, as usual, cannot properly explain them. Most of them believe that sites such as this were simply quarries used by the Inca. However, the stone is too hard, or was too hard, for the Inca to cut with their bronze tools. And also the weathering on the surfaces are, is very, very extensive. And geologists have told me that the amount of weathering tells us that these surfaces were shaped thousands before the Inca arrived in the Cusco area approximately 1,000 years ago. So that is quite a mystery. However, this site is not unique. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of cut stone surfaces in the entire Cusco area which cannot be properly explained by conventional academics. This particular site you probably have not visited, but it's called Little Kenko, and in the background of the photo or the video there is the official site of Kenko. But most visitors do not venture beyond the official area of Kenko to observe. And that, by the way, is the city of Cusco in the background. Local um, expert Jesus Gamara, who has been studying these sites for many years, believes that there are at least 5,000 cut surfaces in the Cusco area at sites such as Kenko, Sacsayhuaman, Oyente Tambo, Machu Picchu, etc. So what we are likely looking at is the work of a far older civilization that most archaeologists and anthropo anthropologists do not recognize as having existed in the area of Cusco, but the stone evidence is enough for me and for many others to conclude that possibly thousands of years before the arrival of the Inca, there was another civilization or civilizations that had complex technology and that they were able to shape ancient stone in this manner. If we look into the oral traditions of the area, there are ancient people who are said to have existed in the Cusco area long before the Inca. One name is the Viracochan, who supposedly were sent by the Creator God to educate the less sophisticated people of the area. And also, there are other stories that speak about people called the Pirwa, from which Peru gets its name, and that they also were great teachers. It is unknown whether the Pirwa and the Viracochan were the same people, but at least we have a clue as to who the ancient builders were. And they likely were also the megalithic builders who constructed this wall, for example, which is at Little Kenko. Notice the small stones on the left side? That is probably later and less sophisticated Inca repair work. And now you see the city of Cusco in the background. And again, another look at the megalithic wall where you can see the Inca repair work utilizing smaller stones and then the more massive ones that one in the center being about 10 to 12 feet tall. Now as we go up above, 
Again you see the megalithic retaining wall and the strange cut surfaces at the site called Little Kenko. And moving along with Quadcopter Viracocha, another view of how extensive this site is. It's actually quite small in comparison to places like Sacsayhuaman or Machu Picchu, but still impressive and definitely worthwhile visiting. And a rotational view, again, of these interesting stone surfaces. Some appear or look like they are thrones of some kind, as well as staircases and other rather more bizarre kind of organic shapes. You have linear shapes, but you also have curves and things like that. And one last time, we will fly up and over this megalithic wall to the cut surfaces on top and a view of Cusco in the background. Now compare what you just saw with what you're looking at here, which also a lot of visitors never see. You see, this is proven to be an Inca construction. Notice the small size of the stones. The site and location is called San Cristobal, and it is in between the city of Cusco and Little Kenko. Now, quadcopter Wiracocha doing a 360 degree view where you see the one million inhabitants of the city of Cusco. Most people don't realize that Cusco is that large of a city. And again, an impressive but not megalithic Inca wall. That is Sacsayhuaman at the top of the viewing screen. The major megalithic work is on the back side of it. And now, quadcopter Wiracocha descends to let you see the impressive Inca wall one more time at San Cristobal. There is, of course, a church next to it, which, um, which uh, its foundation is an Inca temple, or was an Inca temple, and there supposedly is a shaft that goes down underneath the church and connects to a tunnel system. Just another video brought to you by HiddenIncaTours.com.